good. All right, now, so, um, so as you've seen, so my intention today is to introduce you to the datus, okay? So that's my intention. And I also want us to continue the uh, sadhana panchakam. So that's my intention. Um, and uh, as you can see, what I'm, what I'm doing here is that I slowly getting you introduced to different things. So like the uh, Rama Shabda, we, we've been doing that for quite a few times now. So, uh, I like if you can put that into your um, intention of trying to get this, uh, get the Rama Shabda by heart is going to help you so much. So basically, when you go through, you go, okay, I got the Ramaha, Ramao, Ramaha, Ramam, and so on all the way down. And here is our Kama Devi. She's just coming. Great. Okay, Kama, you can sit next to me so you can you can see everybody. All right. So so that would help yourself to grasp more because the that the, the Rama Shabda is a framework. So if you know that, that's gonna help you further down the line. All right. Now so now what we're going to do is that we're shifting towards the verbs, right? We need to have a verb. In every sentence, you need to have a verb, right? So we're shifting towards the verb. And to understand that, we have to understand datus, okay? Now, every word, even if it's a verb, even if it's a noun, are all linked to a dato. So dato means root, okay? Now there are uh, 2000 datos, take or give more or less, but 2000 datos, the 2000 roots in Sanskritam. So imagine every word in Sanskritam is connected to one of the 2000 datos, okay? 2000 roots. Now imagine this, you can visualize this like you have the roots, you have the 2000 roots, and then you have this massive tree that comes up, like you have the trunk and then you have branches. You can choose, you can go and look into this branch, you can go into this branch, you can go into this branch, and you can go into the details, details, details. Now, what we are going to do uh, slowly is to go from the datus, now go up the trunk that we're going more into the verb. So action, right? We're doing the, the what the action verb, what to do, like to see, to see, to hear, to speak, okay? And we're gonna go a little bit more narrow in, we're gonna talk about something which is the present tense. So I see you. Now that one is called lat. So every one of these has names. So think about like you have the dato, we're going into the verb and we're going into the present sense. So that's where we're heading, all right? <coughs> now, later on, we can go into another branch. We can go more into the past. We can go into the future and we can go into more and more into the details, okay? For now on, what we're gonna do is that we're gonna stay down on the roots. We're gonna talk about the datus. Now, <clears throat> if you open Mishika's, um, if you open Mishika's book right now, uh, you're gonna just be like, what is she talking about, okay? You're gonna get quite confused. So. What I'm doing is that I'm trying to give you like a little, like a snowball, and then we add on things and add one, some things. So we're slowly building it up. Now, if you have, if you ask a question, 
it might be that I say, just hold on to that question. It doesn't mean that your question is wrong or, or that it's not. Uh, it just means that instead of going too further down the rabbit hole, I like you to stay on the, on the base so we can slowly build it up. Because some of you are grasping quite a lot and some of you are coming up. So I'm trying to make sure that everybody can join everybody. So we can kind of come through the, and so everybody can get the understanding. All right. Now, did, um, did you have a chance to download the, the, the link that I told you with the Dato Koshas? Yeah, did you have that? Um, okay, good. So I'll show you. So this is, can everybody see this? <clears throat> so Nicolina, what does it say here? I have the, the, the word right under. <laughs> so it is, it's a dhakara with a akara. And then we have takara with the ukara. Uh, kakara together with the o kara. O, yeah. <laughs> and then we have a shakara together with a visarkaha, right? And how would you say it? Dhatu koshaha. Dhatu koshaha. Yeah, good. So if when you have this, I mean, it's a beautiful book. It's a beautiful one. I, I have it printed because I like to have a physical book or you can have this, uh, you know, nearby. Now, so this is the, the, the um, here you have all the, the, all the roots, all the dhatus. So this is Mishika that did this one. Now there are four sections in the book. All right, the four sections. Now the first one is section one. We're going to look at this one. Section two. If you go into that one, you're going to get completely confused. All right. So don't go there. You're just going to get like, what is going on? Okay. So so uh, you you're more than welcome to look at it, but you're going to get yeah. It's not, it's not going to be easy to understand. And then we're going to look at uh, section three, and we're not going to look into the section four. So just section one and section three. Okay. Now, so when you go down here, here starts the first uh, dhatu. Okay. Now, the, 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 the krama, the sequence, of the of the datus the is according to the alphabet so the alphabet is the same way that you learned the alphabet remember that we started with the uh, the vowels right we started with the vowels we went down and then we went with the diphthongs right and then we started with the consonant we started with the guttural remember we went kind of like one shelf at a time Right, everybody with me? So the same way that you learn the alpha, uh, same way that you learn the letters is the same uh, way with the alphabet. So when you're reading here, the, the first dhatu is gonna start with the akara, okay? Is that clear? Now you have, you have, you see here, you have different columns. You have A, B, C, and so on. There's also um, H. I'm not sure if you can see that. Now, column A. Now, this one, we're not at this, at this level or this point, we're not going to focus so much on the, uh, the column A. And the reason why is that in here, you have the uh, you have the datu, you have the root, but you also have something called it it letters, and it letters are uh, letters that it's like uh, like coded. It's going to tell you how how the uh, how the datu is behaving. 
So at this moment, you don't need to go there because that's going to be confusing. So just know that at this one, the, uh, the column A is the, there is the datu, and it's also something called it letters. And those it letters are, uh, you can say, coded letters that says, that gives you information. But this is on a very high level that you, you can you use these it letters. Okay. Now the column B is giving the, the description of the datu, but in Sanskrit, and this can be quite tricky for you, right? Because we have to come to a certain level to understand what, the, what it says here. Okay. Now, column C is interesting because here you do have the datu and the it letters are removed. So here is actually the datu. Okay, so column C is important. Okay, thumbs up. Now, the column D here, do you see that you says here it says 10, one and all like seven and goes on. Now, when you, when you creating, um, when you're creating a verb and present tense, verb and a present tense. So imagine all this, like you have 2000 uh, roots, you have 2000 datus. Now, every one of these 2000 datus, uh, imagine that you have like 10 different like tunnels. So some data is gonna fall into the first one, and some are gonna fall into the second one and so on to the 10th one, right? Most of them fall into the first one, okay? So just that's, that's just how it is. Now, every tunnel is gonna give different rules. It's gonna say, okay, you're gonna do this, you're gonna do this. It's gonna change the data. It's gonna give different uh, aspects. Now, we're not gonna go into these details, but just know that there are 10, almost like tunnels and every data goes through some of them. Some datos are going through a couple of them. So we're gonna look at that later. Um, and then the meaning is gonna be different, okay? Now, so when you, when you kind of, and, and the name, I'm, I'm using the way, I'm using the word tunnel, just to kind of give the, the vision that they go through something and, and along that way, they're changing a little bit. But the name in Sanskrit is ganas. So there are 10, 10 gana means group. You know, like you have uh, just a side thing, you know, you say uh, ganapati, or Ganesha, right? So anybody know what the meaning is? Anybody, uh, if I say uh, Ganna Pati, so I give a Ganna Pati. Ganna Pati. Pati? Anybody? Any idea? Uh, see if I can see more of the obstacle, but I don't know if that's the meaning of the. Yeah. Word. So 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 Ganesha is removal of the obstacle, but the meaning of Ganapati is mm -hmm. Pati means uh, the Lord or the 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 the, um, the Lord, the, not not like a Lord that's standing and you know like a that you know like someone who's like a king, or just the the the, the above above everything he's the lord of the groups gana means groups and what does that mean all the species all the animals everything around you and he's he's not part of it because he's he's above it so he's the the lord of all the groups so again it has to be unfolded so it doesn't the mind doesn't go that he's like 
you know, he controlling or controlling these pieces or he can do it or he's, uh, you know, someone sitting away and, and doing like this. No, 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 no. He's, he's just, he's, um, uh, he's um, beyond the groups. He's in, within the groups, in and through, but he's not part of the groups. Okay, that, so that's what the word means. Ganna, so when we're talking about the 10 Ganas, the, it's also uh, the word for groups. So you've got 10 groups, okay? So that is column D, and that's why you have these numbers. So 10, one, and so on. And you can see that, you see that most of them has number one because most of them falls into the first one. Now, the uh, column number E, you see that it says U, P, A. So every datu is either P, A, or U, okay? Again, this can be like, what is she talking about? Now, every datu falls into, is called paramasmai, which is the P or Atmanampere. Now, this is the P or the A. It doesn't have any, if it doesn't mean that, oh, all the, all the roots that are P are, you know, just talking about this and all the ones that are A are this one. No, it just is that some datu are following the, the P and some datus are following A. And when it says U, it means that it's following both a P and A, all right? So we're gonna look into that later, but just know that there, this category E is talking about if it paramasmai or atmanapade, or they can be both, okay? P, A, or U. The F column, you don't need to think about that. That's way ahead of you. That, that's later on. So the F column, don't worry about it. And then you got the, the G, and here is the meaning in English. So when you look at this one here, and then you look at the G column, you go like, ah, okay, that's the meaning. Now, we're gonna go down. So I'd like you to go down to um, page number six. The G column is the meaning. The meaning, yeah. The meaning in English. Uh -huh. Meaning in general. So let's go to, I think I, I made a little marker because this is one of the, where are you? Uh, I made a little. Oh no, sorry. Eight. Page number eight. I made a. So, what I do, uh, I usually, when there are verbs that, are, that you use a lot in Vedanta, I usually mark it. I, I, I make it with a color, and because, you know, you, so, like for example, to do is a very common. Uh, it's a very common dhatu in, um, in Samskritam because you have, you know, the agent, the karta, karma, karoti, and all these words, everything that has to do with actions, to do, to be done, will do, the agent, you know, all these things are linked to this. Datu. So here, the first column, you see that there's a lot of letters there. Compared to this one, the, the, the first column has a lot of it letters. We don't really, don't think about that now. And here is the description in Samskritam. We will have it in English as well. So it means to do. And here, what does it say here, um, Ariani? Kr, kr, 
And remember, people, cr, cr, cr. so here needs to be engaged. So you have space to get this cr, cr, cr. And so we all have different uh, challenges. If you have easy to roll your R, if you're born in one of those countries, you uh, go, make sure you got that cr, 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 cr. Now, for some, I know it's tricky because that, that rolling R can be tricky. Make sure that you um, get this one and that's gonna give you more space for the tongue to go back. Cr, 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 cr. And you're gonna build up those muscles and that's gonna help you. Cr, 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 cr. Good, a lot here. Good. Now look at this. So um, what do you think uh, the eight stands for? Um, uh, Sukumar, what do you think this one stands for? Number eight. It, it stands for Gana, eight Ganas. So this one is going to fall into, your, I was saying about the 10 tunnels. So this is going to fall into the eight tunnel and that's going to have special rules. And that's gonna affect the uh, the dhatu. So good. And then we got the. Uh, you see that it's bu here. So that means that it can have both parasmai, and it can have both atmane pade, which is the p and the a. So it goes both. The u means that it goes both p and u. We, well, I'm not going to go into the details now. We're going to go, go there, but just know that there's something called P, A, and the U means that it do both. It can do both. Good. And this one, we jump over. We don't look at that one. And then this is the meaning uh, of the uh, of the dhatu, right? Now, here, you see also there is a, one more column here. Um, I don't think Mishika finished this one because it's, it's, it's uh, she just done uh, like half finish, but but this is uh, the name. So remember like this 10 tunnels, this Ganas, they all have different names. So here, um, the, I think her intention is to write the name of the Gana, but she hasn't done that. And we, we at this moment, you don't need to worry about that. But What's interesting is that you see that here you also have kr, right? There's kr and kr, but here you have the fifth, the fifth tunnel. It goes to the fifth, and here it means something completely different. See that? Yeah. So you have, if you go through the fifth tunnel, the meaning will be to kill, to hurt. But if it goes to the eight tunnel, it's gonna mean to do. All right, good. So if you go down here and then uh, you, you have, you can go through and you can say, oh, wow, this, all this uh, datus, and you can, you know, it, it goes on and on and on. Now, What's interesting, I like you to go into uh, order mark, it's 70 here. It's page number uh, 69. Oh, 69, yeah. Can you see that? Do you remember that? Uh, was it last week that I mentioned a little bit about uh, upasargas? Is that ringing a bell? Upasargas, yeah? Is it confusing, upasargas? Is someone, please uh, give me a little hint. Carla, you, you wanna have it explained? Yeah. No, have it explained? Okay. All right, so let's come back here. And uh, all right, so let's go uh, page, is this number? Yeah, okay. So this is, you can make a note in your volume 
uh, three, sorry, volume one, page number 36. Volume one, page number 36. Okay. You have a section there where it says, Upasargaha, Upasargas. Okay. So we were just we were just mentioning this, uh, I think it was last week or the week before that, that I was just telling you that there's something called upasargas. Now the upasargas, they are 22, uh, 22 prefix. That means that they go before the word. Remember that? Like before the word, and they can uh, they can adjust the meaning of the word. Like we were saying in English, you have credible, but then you have incredible. You have un uh, unbelievable. But you can say believable, and you can say unbelievable, and you can say, you know, the more you start thinking about this in your own mother tongue, you're going to start seeing these kind of prefixes that are used in your language. And, and uh, so, so these kind of words that can either, they can completely change the meaning or they can emphasize a meaning or uh, change something. So this is the same, same thing with upasargas, right? So you have these 22 uh, upasargas and Another name for this one is, you see this here, Pradigana. So uh, what, was the, what was the meaning of Ghana? Uh, tunnels. Uh, groups. groups, yeah, groups. Okay, now look at this. This is quite interesting. So this is a way to remember. Uh, you see that it says Pradi, right? Now look at this one. The first upasarga is pra right and adi adi means etc so the name of this group is uh, uh, is is saying like pra and etc the group of pra etc group so if you have the sandi you you know there's a savarna sandi right savarna so pradi gana. So uh, upasarga. There's a group of twenty-two particles called pradi gana. And the first member is pra, and that's why it is called pradi uh, gana. Good. Now you can learn this if you want. This twenty-two because that's going to help you to go like, oh, that's a, that's a, oh, that's a prefix. I see that one. So you can go, oh, pra. Now, some of them have a certain thing, like you can have uh, the meaning of them can be like closer, further, before, after. There's certain things that you go, like you recognize it. Um, you, you recognize the, the, um, the meaning of it, okay? Now, so this is prefix. Now go back to your datu kosha and I will show you something. I will show you something. <laughs> All right, now here we have we have the uh, the datu, right? The one that we're looking at. We're looking at the kr datu, okay? Here it says that it's it's talking about both the fifth and the eight, okay? Both fifth and eight. Now, look here. All these things that you see here are prefix prefix. So I just marked, uh, I hope, yeah, here I go. So when the prefix, and this one, it's a 
uh, they're not all upasarga, but this one is uh, upasarga. So you can mark the one that that is a upasarga, which is a pradi, which is following the 22. So you can mark those with a color. Now look what happens when you put together a prefix, which in this case is pra, and then you have the datu, which is kr. The meaning is, Kana, what does it say here? Here, 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 here. just read. Make, produce, accomplish, affect, make the subject of discussion. Mm. See what happened? You just, what you did was you just put a, a prefix together with a datu, and the meaning became something more than just to do. Now, what happens if we put the prefix prati? And now? Prati, repay, remedy. Mm. So again, the meaning shifted. You still have the, uh, the datu, kr, but you shifted the, the, the prefix. You, you shifted the upasarga. Any questions about this? So, so the dhatu and the, the um, upasarga equals more meaning or equals a word? Yeah, so you have one thing is the dhatu. And when you put a, a prefix in front of it, the, the dhatu can be can can shift the meaning just like you think about like credible and you say you put an in in front and you sudden becomes incredible or uh, see what i mean so, so upasarga and dhatus are very different things just to don't don't mix them up uh any questions Devi, so the words to make would be prakr. Do they understand that we add the kr to the pra to make the word, or is it like when you look at those? If if you want to make the word to to produce, to accomplish, uh, like to make the subject of discussion, you put the prefix. If you uh if you're just talking about to do it's only the dhatu so this one that when you're putting the prefix it's it's more like the specific these ones place in front you know it's more like it, it's it's narrowing down the meaning of to do in a more detail like you see this salute so when you have salute so you have uh, namas plus kr, then it's salute. Or can, I can't. Right, so it's together, so it's together, right? So yeah. it's pra kr here. Okay. The yeah. word. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, following. You, you got it? Yeah, cool. All right. Uh... Davy, yeah? I don't know if I can see uh, all the all the letters or all the descriptions in the columns. Like when you say pra kr, I don't know if I could see that. Mm, it felt like one column was empty. Yeah, so this one here, Aha. Is the, it's just mm -hmm. showing that this column is gonna be the, the dhatu. So instead of putting kr kr all the way, they just kept it yeah. uh, empty. Empty, okay. And then, okay. And then they're putting the, the prefix here yeah so so and where do you see the root of the word how do you know the root of the word here kr. Kr. here is a dato oh. if you if you went up here is a different dato so the dato is always in this column so here you have okay. and here you have tash so this is all uh all the uh the datos okay and then here is, uh, here is the prefixes. Prefix and then dhatu. And the prefix is how the word has changed. Yeah. Kind of, or? Yeah, exactly. What, what, does the, what does the prefix, how does the prefix affect the dhatu? 
how does it affect the 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 jack the prefix going to make some kind of uh, specific meaning of the dato yes yeah instead of being just uh, very widely uh, used as to do it suddenly with the prefix it suddenly means specific you know initiate in make a friend off adorn great it's just like more yes. fun. that's what i'm talking about <laughs> does the word become the prefix then is that the, the, is that how uh, what the word becomes in the prefix column then yeah so you're gonna have like, to, you're gonna have the, the prefix is not gonna change but the dato is, is gonna be um uh, conjugate the, the dato is gonna change according to which uh for example which person is talking uh if it's present past future uh so so the dato is going to be shifted but okay. the prefix stays the same because here the prefix uh, is very different from the dato exactly if the dato is kr, exactly. and this is a um, for example an Anu. Yeah. So do you say the so then the word is anu? No, you got to you have to put the you have to put the prefix which is anu. So for example, uh, to um, I do. Okay, I I do me is karomi. Okay, I karomi means I do. Okay. Now, if I so then I order already um, conjugated the the dato into present first you, you know I as a me. Uh, now, when I do that, and then I put a prefix in front of that. So, for example, uh, anu, anu karomi, anu karomi. Then it means. I imitate. You see? I mm -hmm. imitate. So suddenly it doesn't mean just I do, it means I imitate. So the prefix okay. gave a specific meaning of that dhatu. The, yes. the prefix stays anu, but the kr is going to shift according to we, who is talking. Aha. Depends, which so you just don't say anu anu kr. You no. don't say. No, the, okay. the path is going to change a lot. <clears throat> Remember that the path, <clears throat> it first of all, it's going to go through a lot of things. It's going to go through the ganas. It's going to go through the tunnels. It's going to be separate into the P A U, and then it's going to be. Remember, like we were talking about the trees. So you can go up this tree and this, you know, this branch and this branch and this branch. And that's what I said in the beginning. I said, we're going to go up a branch, which is lat, which is present. And we're going to go into that one. So the dato is like huge. You can go on and on and on and on and on and on. But the prefix stays the same. They don't change. They stay the same. OK, now look at this. So go back to your uh, volume, uh, where is she? So what you can do, you see this uh, 22, this is the um, Pradiganas, right? Now, what you can do is that you go back to your uh, Dhatu Kosha and you just like I did, I marked the green ones just to, so if there was a, if there was a prefix, which was like Pra, then I marked that one as green and V and so on. So, so it's just a nice way to, to sh know which one is, falling into the group which is pradi because you're going to have many prefixes that they're not all falling into pradi okay so if you have a special color that is for these ones then you can use that okay now there is a nice exercise the mishika you see this it's exercise number three. So you go all the way. Remember, this is volume number one. 
an exercise. It's in the back of the book. And you go to exercise number. Hmm, here. Okay. No, that's a dub kosha. So this is volume one. Um, if you have, uh, maybe we can share again because I shared a couple of times the uh, volume one, two, three. We can put them again. Now look at this here. Here is here is the uh, the dato, right? What does it say here, um, uh, Beatrice? What does it say here? Um, boo, boo, long, right? Boo, mm -hmm. this is long. And the meaning, what is it? To be. To be good. Now remember, so this exercise is looking into the basargas, uh, the prefixes. So here you have the anu, right? And then you have boo. All right, everybody remember that? Anu, boo. Okay, so now you go back to your uh, datu kosha here, and remember that it goes according to the to the to the alphabet. So we're already on uh, kakara, so we got to go down, right? Volume three, volume one. Volume yeah, but don't worry about that now because I would rather be like you stay mm -hmm. focused here because uh, otherwise you get you can do that later. So I'm here with you. So it's uh, look, I, I made a colorful gum. Gum is also very common because it means to go. Uh, all right, so we got to find boo. Maybe you can help me. So we are on, uh, we are the dental. We're going to go down to the labels, right? Still on the dentals. Let me know if I miss it. Mm -hmm. Baka. Oh, here we are. So we got the bakara, right? But we're going to go into the aspirate. Uh, so here is here is budge. But we're going to look into boo, right? Here, here it is, right? Everybody found it. Everybody can see it. Yeah. Okay. So what was the uh, what was the prefix again? The, the upasarga. Anu. Anu, Anu, right? So it says Anu, Bhu. So Alice, what's the meaning? Experience, enjoy, suffer, feel, perceive, apprehend, try and test. And isn't it funny in some scriptures, you see this? One word can be, mean both enjoy and suffer. <laughs> so there's a lot of, you can imagine why you need a teacher. <laughs> Because you have, you have to have someone who is, who, who, who uh, unfold it for you, because otherwise you're going to go on a complete spaceship trip, you know, and your mind is going to try to translate it. All right. So then you go back to your, uh, the, um, here, right? So here you put, you can put experience, you can put suffer, enjoy. Thing, thing. Now you cannot do you cannot do this one yet you can only do this column okay so then you do the same thing with some and then boo and you go back is there anybody that has the uh, volume one and can uh, uh, sorry the datu kosha can you tell me what's the uh, meaning of some and boo some boo So look into your datu uh, kosha and uh, see if you can find. So we're already on the bhu, but the prefix is sam this time. I don't know what it's like. Anybody? So it's the same way you, where we looked at Anu, but it's just, you go down a little bit uh, and look at the prefixes. It's the last one. Uh, 
Shall we look together? Is it confusing? Very confusing? Okay. Uh, so we said it's it's sum plus bu, right? Everybody? Yeah? The sum is the prefix. The sum is the prefix. And then I'm going to find, where's my datu kosha here? Uh, where is my datu kosha? They don't actually mean anything until they're joined. Mm, no, they, they, they definitely like the, um, I'll show you. Here. All right. We had the, here's the, the, the datu, right? Here's the bu. What was the what was the prefix? Sum. Sum. All right. Look, here is your sum. Sum plus bu. What's the meaning? Um, Sylvia. Wow, well, look. Be possible. Be born. Come out. Arise. Become. Exist. <laughs> Mingle. Which one do we know to choose? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so it means a lot, right? All right, good. Now, shall we do one more together? It, or do you get the understand? I, I see a lot of uh, eyes there like, what is she talking about? Uh, Davy, huh? I'm just trying to find it. Like what is page 90? Uh, Ditto, yeah. I'm trying to find it, uh, the book. So I, I get the um, process, it's more just the technological. Ah, you mean to find the, the, the page? Yeah, like how do you yeah, it doesn't look the same. All right, so, so let me show you. I have the everything um, printed. Printed. Here, this is the physical. Okay, good. This is the Dhatu Kosha. Now, remember that there's four sections, section one, two, three, four, right? I said like two and four, just don't look at that. So we're just interested in section one and section three. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So the first section is just gonna say straightforward all the 2000 datos. Okay, section one, to do, to be, straightforward, but, Section three are putting the datu and the meaning, what happens when you put a prefix in front of it. Okay. So when I go in here, I go to my section three, which is in the, so if you have it on your computer, it's a beautiful thing to have. So if you have it printed, um, you can mark it with the color, the 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 datus that you're gonna use a lot. How do you find the dot the, the datus? Is following the uh, the alphabet, just like you learn a a i i u u and so on, and then you go through the or the guttural right palatal and so on. So same sequence that we learned. So the same thing. So when you're looking, so in this exercise with Mishika, she said, what does sum, which is the prefix, when it comes together with bu, which is the datu, what happened? What's the meaning? So you go to section three, because that's where you find the prefix together with the, uh, the datu, right? And then you're looking at the uh, you're looking at the datus, right? You're following. So here I have, for example, nand, nand. That's where you get nandi, right? Nandi, and so on. Okay, so I know that nandi it's a dental, right? It's a dental. Bhu is a labial, so it's coming after. So I keep on going, and keep on going. I'm still in my. Oh, my eyes are getting bad, I'm getting old. <laughs> All right, see here I see Bakara. 
Oh, and close to Bacara. Oh, I know that the next one, which is after that, is mm. aspirate. Mm. So I go down a little bit and until I find here. So I make a little, I made a little a pink color here so I can easily find it. So here is boo. Right? Here's boo. And is there a, is it say section three somewhere? Yeah. Yeah. And you notice section three because it kind of have the prefixes in one column mm -hmm. and then the datus. Compared to section one, it looks like that. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You see the difference? Okay. Yeah. But there's no special section. Here. No, it is oh. if you go back, but you can do that okay. later. Okay. Any questions? Uh, yes. Uh, I was trying to find some, mm -hmm. uh, and I was looking at, at the page number that you had up when you showed it, but it wasn't the same in my, <laughs> when I tried to look no. in my own Gato Kosha, so that was why I was confused. And you know why you, I think you get confused? Because you look at these numbers, right? Uh -huh. I've done this the same. Is, yes. Yeah, this is confusing because this is given the number, but this is not remember like this here is shows 86. So this is 87. Yeah, but both. Where did you find some? Can you show me again? Yeah, here. Ah, you look there. I, I was looking at the root. That's no. why I didn't some some oh. the prefix. Who uh. is the datu? So first you find the boo in the third column. Yes. Ah, and then you find, okay, yeah. Slowly, slowly. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. It, you I first think... look in the third column. Yeah, boo. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I think Paulina got it. Uh, anybody else who is confused? Please tell me, don't be shy. We can do it. Shall we do one more? Yes, please. It's yeah. Datu first and then it's Upa Saga. Yes, please. Okay, good. All right. Datu so let's. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So, okay, let's go to this one here. Uh, Carla, what does it, what's the prefix? Hmm. Yeah, I'm sorry, I'm, I can't mark. Yeah, I could, I could. This one. Is it Abba? Abba, good. And what is the dhatu? Gum. Gum. Okay, so everybody remember we got the dhatu, which is gum. And we got the prefix, which is Abba. 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 You see that? Abba? Mm -hmm. Yeah, gum. All right, now we got to go into our Dhatu Kosha. And uh, there it is. Okay, so I'm, or, I'm down on Bu, right? So I'm down in labial. I have to go up again. I have to go back to the uh, gutturals. gutturals, right? So it's way higher. All right, so I'm still go up, up. I'm at the palatal now. Or here we are, something, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm looking at, I'm looking for my dhatu now. Uh, or I would, <laughs> okay, I already marked gum because it's a very common uh, dhatu, right? Here's your dhatu. And this is all the prefixes. We're, we're interested in ava. Ava. So, uh, uh, okay. so clicking. It's, it's listed. Yeah. All right. All the 10? Are there 10? Um, no, no, no. There's a, no, they, don't More get confused groups, in okay. the, this is not the ganas. This, I'm just talking about the prefixes mm -hmm. now. So, uh, Ariane, what's the meaning of the prefix ava when it comes together with the dhatu gam? No. Understand, learn, think, believe. Yes. So take, for example, uh, uh, to, to he, 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 uh, like gum in he goes is gachati. 
But when I put the prefix and I say ava gachati, ava gachati, suddenly the meaning is he knows, he understands, he learn, he thinks, he believes, he considers. Yeah? You see what happened? So a gum datu, which means to go, suddenly together with ava means understand. You see what happened? The prefix can completely change the meaning. Okay. Uh, Sylvia, did you see? Did Can I have a question? Yeah. So I'm understanding that the prefixes are otherwise called upasargaha. Right? Yeah. And then you said that uh, there are 22 prefixes, right? Yeah. yeah. And when I look in that book and I look at the different column of prefixes, yeah. I see a lot more and other ones than, yeah. so maybe I'm going a bit too quick, but I'm just curious, where did those come from? Yeah. Are they like from combinations of two or three prefixes together or, yeah. So, just... so good question. So, so you have many, 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 many prefixes, but this group, these 22 groups are called Pradi Ganas. So they, they just, uh, there's just a special group with all the prefixes. So that's when you look at the, uh, the Datu Kosha, you have many. But the exercise that you have with Mishika on number three, she only is going to put together the Pradi prefixes with the, um, with the Datu. So those other prefixes are just coming from other groups of prefixes. This is how I understand it. And in the one that we looked at, there's 22. Yeah. So yeah. there is another group and that's how, because sometimes you see a lot more elaborated when I looked at the Dhatu Kosha book. Yeah. Sometimes it's like a whole word, looks like a whole word or something. Yeah. That is a prefix. This, this one, this Pradi is very common first of all, and uh, they're very common. And, and uh, they, have, uh, they, they have a little bit specific meaning. Yes, you do have many more prefixes, but these one are a little bit more used. They're very, very common. So, so by, by knowing these 22s, it, you're gonna be like, ooh, I recognize that. The more you start, like, like when you start, you know, if you sit with Swamiji, you're going to start seeing this. You go like, oh, that's a prefix. Ah, that's the dato. Ah, it's like, you, you, you know, it's like one of those, like, like Alice had the other day. She's like, oh, I get it. You know, you, this kind of moment where you're like, oh, I get it now. So by knowing this group, which is only 22, you know, you can just kind of recognize and go like, I know that one. I've seen that one. I say, ah, I get it, you know? Mm -hmm. so it's but it's, there are many prefixes, but this is a special, very common uh, prefix group and it's called Pradi. And then those prefixes from that group on their own, do they mean something? Uh, like, do they have their own meanings as a, the prefix on its own? Does it have its own meaning? You, are you talking about like the, a, uh, inside the, the pradi? Yes, inside it, like for example, because there's pra, adi, and so on, right? Yeah. So do they have? Because I know, for example, when we have vidya and avidya, right? So a usually is the one that negates. Yeah. Know? So is there like a pattern also, or there is no yeah. pattern? The, the, uh, there is a. There, there is, but you cannot rely on it. So you cannot, you cannot go like, it's always like that. So you can't go like black and white and say, right, right, you know, but there are kind of things that you go like, oh, I, I recognize, like it's a tendency. So for example, uh, getting closer, getting apart, before, after, there are similarities, 
but you still they're, they're, it's not black and white and say it's always like that but but you you do you get a sense of it as you go and you go like oh i i i, I think that because that is means that it's closer that means further away before after yeah you recognize it so it's quite a fluid thing yeah. so in the sense that like you were saying about i know it's a, a different tangent but you were saying about the meaning of the words being so varied it's and why you need someone is because it there are certain factors like context and everything else that that we don't know about yet that influence how, what the that means and there's i get it's a similar sort of thing for the word structure it's like it just depends on on the word that's the datu and it, but it also depends on the context how those fit together and it's quite fluid it's not the same all the time it, it's very what well, well, you saw for example with the who silvia was was uh, saying about what was it some and the meaning of some and who you saw the amount of what it could mean it's so many things right so uh, so so it, it's not it's not black and white that you can say it always means this it, it just has yeah it's not mixing i i have I, sorry i'm thinking of a visual now because it helps my brain and i don't know if it'll help anyone else um so it's sort of like mixing colors when you add like different amounts of color it's sort of you get different shades and tones and everything and it's all varied and some might be more like one and some might be more like another but it's all it's the, it's the variety so like you're saying it's not the black and white it's that you've got this whole sort of rainbow palette where you're sort of mixing the colors and the colors translate into words in this instance of sound yeah remember one thing because remember i told you like we're just on the root level now yeah. and and i said like we're going to stay on the root <laughs> and then we're going to go up the trunk <laughs> and we're going to go down into this branch and we're going to stay focused on present <laughs> and remember i said the tree is so huge and so so what happens right is that we have a tendency to want to go into the leaves all right and go like look you know it's just a, our curiosity which is great but I have to say like, stay, stay here, okay? Root level, now. Now, does everybody understand? Because that means a lot. If you can understand what the exercise is, third exercise, Mishika, you, then, then you are come a long way. Do you understand what to do? How, how? Yes. I just I just want to double check which Michigan book was it again that the exercises is in. One. First. First. Yeah. Exercise number three. You find it in the back of the book. Okay, so you first look at the data, then you look at the prefix, then you see the meaning. Yep. Okay. Baby, like there is such a small space here. So, for example, the one that I was doing, and there was a whole big list. <laughs> We just like write one. Yeah. From the, 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 the main thing is to, to find it. It's not to write all the words. It's to kind of the exercise to under get this thing. These things come together. Section one prefixes. Section. I, three. I will show you, sweetie. Mm -hmm. We can have some time after, okay. and I will. I think we can go through it Thank because you. you're here, so I can help Great. you much better. Any questions? Yeah. It would be lovely if you could share the first book again. I think I have it, but just to be sure. Can is anybody who has that link, can we just re, re uh, is anyone who has easy access to it? Uh, just wonder because we, uh, we can maybe resend that volume one to, I have some uh, with my signal was updating. So I, I, I don't, I can't access the old messages. Oh. Uh, is there anybody who can re, is it volume one, two, three? And also the Dhatu Kosha. We can resend them in the group. I think I can do it because I think I have them saved on my computer. Yeah. So I can try to send them. And 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 not to confuse everyone because number volume number two and number three are again it's ahead of you. Uh, but there was someone who was asking me about them. So at this moment, you only need Dhatu Kosha 
and volume one. So we don't need volume three. That's ahead of you. Okay. But you can you can still have it like on the computer. It's a beautiful thing to have. But, but it, I think it was Alice that was asking about something. So I posted it. Let's grow strong roots. Yeah. <laughs> Let's grow strong roots. <laughs> Stay grounded. <laughs> yeah. Wow. I was thinking that we're going to do some uh, sadhana panchakam. <laughs> I was very uh, ambitious. <laughs> uh, uh, would you like me to do it one more time? Anybody? Is it still confusing? One more time? Yes, please. Yeah. Okay. So you got to help me now. So we do it together. You tell me what I. So I go. First thing I do is I go into the Mishika exercise number three, right? Exercise number three is on page number 163, volume one. Okay. Volume one, one, six, three. All right. So we already done uh, together the first three. All right. What is, um, who's there? Um, who is still here? Oh, Sylvia, what is the Pradigana? What is the Upasarga for this one? Ah, and what is the dhatu kamadeve? Gum, gum, right? Gum, gum, gum. Just non-aspirin. Gum, gum. All right. So exercise number three, one six three, right? Okay, everybody remember that. All right. So now we go into the dhatu kosha, and I'm opening the dhatu kosha, and I already in the gutturals. Yeah. So here is the dhatu, mm -hmm. here's the gum. And what was the prefix? Oh, I don't remember. What was the prefix? Something ah. 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 <laughs> ah. Okay. So here is ati, right? Here is adhi, adhi, adhya. So it's not this one. I got to go down. I got to go down. Ooh, look here. Okay. Here it is. Ah. Here's. A ah, plus what? Gum. Gum. Ah, gum. Ah, gum. So if, and what is the, uh, what's the meaning, Sukumar? Basically, it's uh, arrive, come, attain, lead toward, convey, learn, wait. Good. So just to give you one extra. So I told you that gachati means uh, he, he goes, right? But now I put the prefix on, I say, ah, gachati. Sukuma, what do you think the meaning is now? Ah, gachati. I didn't understand the question. Can you repeat, please? Uh, so if I only, uh, if I, uh, if I take the gum, just the dhatu, and the, the, if I um, say gachati, it means he or she or it, but he and goes, right? But now I'm putting the prefix on, I put a ah, gachati. So what happens now with the meaning? He comes. Yes. He, he comes, yes. he arrives, he attains. Yes. But was that is I, it? So Gachati. suddenly, so suddenly it went from go to arrive. So there are different between go and arrive. You see the difference? Go and arrive. It's different meanings, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So by doing putting the prefix, you 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 change the meaning from go to arrive. Mm -hmm. yeah? 
Is it he, she, it? Here? Yeah. So that's what you okay. added. He, she, is. No, I, I added the, the prefix. Oh, okay. So I just put it the prefix and the datu. And the meaning becomes come, arrive, attain, mm -hmm. lead towards, convey, and so on. Is it that we start with the third person because that's the most important in like the third person is the first person? Yeah. And instead of saying I. So yeah. that so just I don't need you to tell me now how it is, but I'm guessing that for I and you and they and we, yeah. there is something different. Yeah. I see. Yeah. So are you now referring to the Rama Shab? No, no okay. I'm not. There's nothing to do with Rama Shabda. Rama Shabda is a noun, and and this we're talking about datus. All right. Uh, um, hello. Who? Sylvia, you got it. Okay, good. Try. I will. I will help you, Kama, if you. So try to do this. Um, blah, blah, blah. You just do this column, only this column. Don't think about this one here. You just do what we did. Yeah? Any questions? Nick, are you okay? Is that, was that a so-so? So-so? Okay. Uh, okay. So. The class is uh, so. If anybody has to go, I totally understand. Would you like me to do? Is there anybody you like to stay and we do one more time? Yes. Yes. Okay. Good. All right. Let's go down a little bit. All right. Here we go. So I'm not going to take this because they are the same dhatus. So let's go and uh, we can um, take this one. Uh, Nick, what is the prefix? What does it say here? It says um, V. V, right? Now, this one is a little bit special. This is a special conjunct consonant. Uh, can you see what it says? Um, Nick? Uh, not without looking up in a very long way through my conjunct book. Give us a Can someone uh, help him? Is it a... Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. 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 Okay. See that? Ja. Ja plus nya. You see that? Two uh, palatals. Two palatals. Okay. So look what happens when they come together. So I have the jakara. And then I have this. You see that one, uh, Nick? You see this one? Yeah. You see that they, they actually, the, the font is quite different. You see that this one is going kind of straight forward and then half circle and down like a tail. It's different fonts. Okay, so we got to know this one and we got to know this one. The non-recognizable, have to remember one. You have to remember that one. Okay, good. So what does it say here then? Uh, so it says, Jna. 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 right? Jna. So the datu is nya and the prefix is v. v. Okay, remember? Let's go into our datu kosha. Everybody open the datu kosha and see if you can find it. 
So remember that Jakara is a palatal, right? So I'm on my guttural here. I have to go down, 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 down. Down, I'm still on my, oh, wait. Oh, here it is, it's coming. G. Here, look, here it is. You see this one, Nick? Yeah? Now, what was the prefix? Uh, v. V, right? So it's not Anu, it's not Appa, it's not Abi, it's not Ava. Where do, tell me to stop uh, oh. there. There, right? Mm -hmm. Good. So what does it mean? No, learn, find out, consider, request, communicate, say, speak in general. Good. So this here, this information here is what you put in here, in this one, in this box here, as much as you can. Yeah? Ariani, you look like you were getting it. Yes, Nicolina. Yes. Carla. Yeah, Sukumar. Yeah, Nick. Yeah. Who else? Alice, you look. Is Silvia okay? Silvia okay? Okay, I think I got everybody. Karma. Yeah. Great. You're doing great. All right. Remember the roots. Roots level. <laughs> oh. Yeah, me too. The question is like, what is she talking about? And then it goes click. Okay. All right. Uh, any questions? So what you can do is that you put in the group and say, listen, I need help with this one. I can't find it. Then, then we help each other, okay? So just use the, uh, the, the forum to help each other. All right? I'm gonna help you come up, so. Yeah. All right? Uh, anybody feel... Uh, Nicolina, would you like to chat? Yeah? We can do that one. It was a long time ago, I did it. <laughs> Om Swasti Prajabhya Paripalayanta Nyayena Marge Namahi Mahishaha Go Brahmane Vyashupamastunityam Loka Samasta Sukino Bhavantu Kale Varshatu Parjanjaha Pritevi Sashashalani Desho Yangsho Bharahitaha Brahmana Santu Nirbayaha Om Sarvesham Swastir Bhavatu Sarvesham Shantir Bhavatu Sarvesham Mangalam Bhavatu Sarvesham Purnam Bhavatu Ah, I got it. Sarve Santu Niramayaha Sarve bhatra nipashyantu, ma kaschittu khabak bhave, asatoma satkamaya, tamasoma dyotir gamaya, mrityorma amritangamaya, om pur namadav pur namidam pur nat pur namodachate, Purnasya Purnamadaya Purnameva Vashishyate Om Shanti 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 Harihi Om Shri Guru Pyo Namaha Harihi Om Good. All right, what I'm going to do, I'm going to sit a little bit with Kama Devi and just help her. If there's anybody that would like to stay, uh, I'm here. Okay, if anybody feel otherwise, feel free to uh, and uh, see each other uh, next uh, week. Okay. Huh? okay.
So let's get let's get our um, uh, let's get our uh, that of course, all right? Good. So this one is good enough. So I'm just having the alphabet, and I'm having the uh, the Hatu kosha. Um, did you have volume one or we can? Uh, yeah, I think I just have it here. Great. Great, great, great. So we do this together. So just relax mm -hmm. and have fun. Um, so we're going to do exercise three. But I don't think you have one hundred and twenty-six. You know what happened? This is not volume one. You have uh, this is another book. Yeah. And I've had uh, these three links, maybe one, two, three. Let me put it in the. Uh, Ariane, by any chance you have that link? It's not the right. Let me check. So this is not the right one. I, I opened again. Um, Basic structure of language. I hear it. Thank you for staying longer. <laughs> if anybody know the link to the uh, volume one, please uh, share. I can search for so it should be with the Arsha Vidya because otherwise, if you go to Amazon, you have to pay for it. Um, oh, here. Here it is. I watched it a while ago, it's got a bit dusty. Uh, maybe I can do. Do you have, um, can I uh, send to you a Bluetooth? Um, so, airdrop. Can I airdrop? Uh, yeah. Okay, it's coming now. Carla? Yeah. Okay, good. We did it. Perfect. 
Now you got it. All right. Good. We are on track. Okay, so everybody got volume one? Exercise. That's the one. It, it should be this one. It just looks like that. And the front page is this. It's it's not the exercise. Did you send it to me? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, goes into the downloads. And the, yeah, that was okay. Yeah, finally. Got a lot of things for your <laughs> okay. So now you've got to go to got to go to one six three. Please show me one six three all the way to the end. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so you all got um, page number 163 in your volume one? Yeah. Ariani? All right, good. So, yeah? Yeah, so the 163, volume one. Make sure you can easily find it later. Yeah, I need to find a way to save this. <laughs> right. Just leave it now. Mm -hmm. All right, so let's start with, uh, why don't we do, uh, do you see the one which is, uh, it's one, two, three, four, five, six, number seven. The prefix is a, and the datu is char. You see that? Yeah, okay, that's the one we're looking for. A, char. Ariani, you see that one? A, number seven. Can I guess in, this? In the, in the pick one, six, three? Yeah, so I, I'm, I'm on exercise number three, and mm -hmm. I, I gone down one, two, three, until seven. I think it's seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, yeah. Where it says- Yes, I got ah, it. Char. Is it from where we have Acharya? Is it to teach? Uh, no. Okay. Yeah. I haven't checked yet, but I'm just like, hey, I've heard this. <laughs> Good. So you know this one, right? Uh, this is the one we, we're looking for. Yeah. We're so we do for. for now. Now we got to go into the yeah. Dhatu portion. Go to section section three. three. So remember that the first we, we, we're looking for this where yeah. we have the prefix. Yeah. Which is the. So, uh, Silva, you have the Dhatu portion. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, uh, it's seventy-five page. So look at the. We're looking. At, this is the uh, the first cha chakara, right? Yeah. It's a palate. Okay. So mm -hmm. hold on, hold on. What is that? Takara. Takara. So takara is so, down. It's too low. We gotta go back. Yeah. Good. 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 So that's a gatto. That's a gatto. Yeah. It's a, yeah it's a, it's good. Good. You got it. Oh, look that's it. Just it's interesting because it's not teach. There is no teach here. What was the uh, the ah. Ah. So then it's here. Yeah. Act before and practice. Yeah. So that's okay. where you can put you can put the meaning there. Great. 
question? Yeah, this I get now. I was confused about how it became he or she. Yeah, don't worry about that now. Okay. Did you so get how that? Can we have a, a, yeah, Ariani. Ariani, are you okay? Uh, I have brother to post up, but not print yet. You haven't print the. You haven't print. I haven't print yet the that to post up. You don't. You if you have it on your computer. Mm, I will, I will print. Actually, uh, I I prepared to print it. Much better. But but for this exercise, do you find it? Do you have the Datu Kosha on your computer? I print already. This is volume exercise. one. Yes, I print already. But, but you don't have the Datu Kosha yet. Is that what you mean? Yes. Yes. Uh, that's why you couldn't, that's why you probably got confused. But yeah. So uh, I will print it tomorrow in my office. Yeah, 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 yeah. So then, okay, good. All right, so let's, should we do one more? Mm -hmm. So you, then you're 100%. So you do this yeah. by yourself now. Yeah. All right, so Sylvia and Aria, if Ariane, if you don't have the data course, it would be difficult. So pick one, uh, you pick so one. So we'll pick this one, which is a, that's a tr. And that is a pra. Oh, it's a pra. So uh, Kama Devi, choose number. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight. Oh, wait, no, it's down eight. Nine, ten, eleven. It's the I think it's number twelve. It's the one which is start with the the prefix is pra, and the dhatu is bud. You see that one, Sylvia? Yeah. Okay. So you do this. Mm -hmm. So then pra and. So now we go here and we're looking for, we're looking for labial. Yes. Which is at the end. Okay, Yeah, it's that one. It's that one? Fancy looking. Yeah. So then we look for the and it's here. Awake, low, expand, be blown. Did you find that, Sylvia? What page are you on? I can't seem to find the wood. 85. 89? Five. Uh -huh, I went too far. Five. 85. Okay, I went way too far. Yeah, the semi mile. Ah, aha, uh -huh, I see what I did. Haha. -ha. Because there are two that look similar, right? Yeah. One is with a, with like a, a, a cross through belly, and the other one is without. So, what is the letter, Devi um, Ingala? Without the cross through belly, because I don't remember. Bakara. Say it again. That's a bakara. Bakara. So I went down and I went down all the way to page 90 something. And I thought I found bakara, but it was a different one. It, it's not a, like, not a bakara, it's a bakara. It's a bakara. Ah, yeah, you see? Yeah. So va and ba. I confused both. Let, okay. Shall we do one more? Because I feel like you almost got it now. Yeah. It's just a little, it, it's, 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 she's, she's clicking. 
and I think it's clicking yeah. for all of you. So let's do one more. So it's like, you can do that one. Let's do that one. Yeah, let's. She wants to do, but we did that one before. Yeah, yeah, that's why we. So let's do. So just to confirm, Prabhu is trouble, tease, hurt, right? I found correct. Trouble, tease, hurt, remove, get over. The one that you were doing now. Expand, be blown. Woo! Uh, okay, I confused another letter. I see. Haha! <laughs> Prefix is pr. pr. And then. Okay, I confused now another letter. Which one? Oh, I, I, I let me show you the data because I can help you there. Sometimes the um, the way they write here is a bit different than what I have in my alphabet, and then I get a little bit confused. Okay. So this is which page? So uh, we said the 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 dhatu is uh, good, right? Right. So eight, uh -huh. eighty-five. And what was the yeah. pra? Ah, okay, I see. <clears throat> Which one? Maybe we can try this one. The good one. Mm. Mm. <laughs> is the prefix. Then the vam. No. No. A signal. Oh no. Okay. This Nivas. Nivas. So Ariane, you can do with me, right? You see this one? Yeah. So should I go this way or that way? I'm I'm looking for vas. I think it's down. Down? Tell me to stop, okay? It's oh it's around page ninety-five. So, so Ariane doesn't have a dhatu kosha, so I, I just uh, oh, okay. give her mine so she can. Ariane, you tell me to stop, okay? You can stop by unmuting yourself, so you, I, you can say stop. Okay, so. Was, yeah, stop. Wow. Okay, and the uh, the prefix was ni. Dwell, exist, be, occupy. Yay! She's doing it! Yeah. You see how much I can help you yeah. here? Yeah, <laughs> thank you. Mm. Baby, I find it's funny because it's dwell, be, like the verb to be, right? And yeah. also, who is also to be. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and then I have another oh. question for Sambhu. And us. Us is also to be. Marvelous. Mar Why not? <laughs> Dwell right next to yeah. So by itself, it means On a stone, uh, yeah. they all mean something. Yeah. Okay, we haven't gone into that, but okay. Right. I have a question for the, if you look at page 163 from Mishika and we were looking at Sambhu, right? Sambhu. And we, I found it that it is be possible, be born. And I'm just wondering about the translation because I understand he is born. Where, where, where am I looking uh, at page number one? You're looking at this exercise that we're doing, right? So wait, page number 163, you mean? 163, yeah. This is what we were just doing, and we already did it in class. I was just curious about the translation of one thing, because, yeah, so we have the sambhu, right? Here you see number two, sambhu. Yeah. And then there are different translations. I took the first two ones, which was be possible and be born. And now, from what I understand, that this is all he, she, it, right? Mm -hmm. Translation. But then it, English wise, it doesn't make sense when it's when you say he is possible. No, but a lot of times but you can not, it yes. Say it again. So then it's so then it would be it is possible. Only that subject would be it. Yeah. Okay. 
Yeah. And also a lot of times you can do direct translation. Like a lot of times you have to change your wordings uh, when you translate from uh, Sanskritam to English. Because it's not following yeah. English, you know, exactly the way it's, you know, so you, you have to, you have to uh, maybe use different words. But yeah, I understand. Yeah, I was just wondering for this exercise, but I think my my issue sometimes is because I have this strict grammar from English that is so engraved, which is full of charts and rules. <laughs> that is so much in my booty that I need to step out of that and say, OK, it's OK. It's not logical, but. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. And you're going to be there a lot. Non-logicality. Non-logicality. <laughs> That's a word. Yeah. So something and something you just have to go. And you know, like even like she like Swamiji says, you learn, you, you can't learn Sanskrit and without tears, right? There there are moments which like feels like oh, I can't do this. And look, you just did it. <laughs> but yeah, I have a lot more to do. I'm I'm still needing to do the Rama Shab the I to run through that. Yeah, but today you did a big yeah, step. Yeah, I did. I did a big oh, so step. remember to do this. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so uh, that's this is huge for you, mm -hmm. know, Because you got this now. Yeah, I got it. You got it, right? But it's a technical thing. What do you mean? It's it's a tech. It's looking in a in, in a graph and then finding it. You did a huge thing today. If you get this, the you roots can, are there. The roots are there. Perfect. We're building roots. We're building uh, a tree. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay. And then you six them up. Yeah. So any other questions? Ariana, you have any questions? Is it is it I think Ariana, when you get the Dhatu Kosha, it's all gonna be uh, clear. Okay, so it's not easy. If you didn't have the Dhatu Kosha, of course it's gonna be challenging. Yeah. Okay, I, I will try to do the exercise and I will send to you. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. And I, I will print it. Thank you. Suksama. <laughs> Suksama.